things we're kind of saying is, is that, you know, it's, it's a hinge here. All right. You got a door without a hinge. It's part of the wall. You got to have a hinge on the door so the door can open and close, correct? Now, obvious, okay. Uh, now you hold. All right. Now, when you get the hinge, you get the trap door effect. Okay. That's the world of form. A lot of the stuff is what Osensei called more the hidden realm. We're starting to get more into the, the, the inner workings, the how key moves, things like that. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm indecisive here. Okay. Uh, should I push? Should I pull? No, a hinge opens up the trap door. Okay. And then this is a mocking up operation here. Okay. Now all this stuff, I'm trying to do this to get the trap door to open. So it's got to be very easy there. Very, very easy. Uh -huh. Easy means, you know, you, you're not trying to make it work, but you're also not just drifting with it. Got it? Good. <laughs> Hinge trap door. Hinge trap door. Now you coming in here. See that that the effect of that is not right here. It ends because the form goes to here. You know, the form is is really something that is much more alive than what. Got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So um, let's continue. All right. Let's take a quick look. Okay. Just uh, we're kind of saying you know just loose, easy, loose, easy. Just stand up for a second. Oh, stop getting in the rest. It's the rest, in the rest of your system. You can't do it out there. Loose and easy. Not as a idea concept, but loose and easy. You're going to play a concert at Carnegie Hall and you're too tense. It's going to be a bad concert. Okay. And conversely, you know, you're a little too flat. You're loose and easy. You let the music flow. You've done the practice, you know the music, but that's not enough. You gotta go out there, you loose and easy, so it flows, okay? Now you feel that loose and easy feeling in your ankles and knees and hips. That loose and easy feeling starts to kind of give you a little bit more of a fullness of breathing. You're not breathing up here and out there. You're so part of the loose and easy feeling is your breathing is more natural, okay? Okay, so um, um, if we can kind of go this way, right? I know the magic move, what will happen? Well, the magic move isn't here, but you find out the rest of the joints of your body have that same feeling, they, they back this up. But of quarter, 49ers, who plays quarterback? Well, Quarterback can't do anything if the rest of the system is out. So you get a defense, <laughs> you get an offensive line, you need weapons on defense. I'm talking about tight end, running back, not, not, not projectile weapons. Okay, sports is kind of crazy. They make it seem like a war. We're supposed to work out our aggressions and everything with sports, <laughs> not, not, not create more. Okay. So, if I can integrate this feeling into my system, it means my energy flowing. My energy flowing, but all of a sudden, if you connect to his energy, then we get the trapdoor effect here. I don't know if he wants to move this way. Come, come, come. I'm the center of the circle. He's the circle spinning around the center. He wants to come in this way. Okay. There's an easy relationship which is not purely control but you, you know loose and easy doesn't mean sloppy so a lot of the aikido training is training in a multitude of different dimensions first of all physically you need to relax loose and easy however doesn't come just through the body well strong body's relaxing here loose and easy 
It's when your mind and your body start to kind of connect, okay? And all of a sudden, see the connection to him is easy. Now what we're going to do, take a step in. Huh? We have that one. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, at the end of it, it's an easy means you kind of a, a pretty good balance through the body in motion. Okay. Now what I did there, instead of just turning, I moved a little bit to the side, crossed in. Loose and easy. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's change partners. We could do this. That, that's the trap door. Oh, it's a trap door. There's also the lift. Uh, now, check my system. I want it loose and easy. But sometimes you're loose and easy and you mean business. That's the other thing. It's just that, you know, it, you, you, you're there, you can negotiate, you can adapt, you can do a lot of things. You may not even like what you're doing, but you're cool with it. Got it? I mean, you know, the, the, the Japanese culture sometimes is just like, we summarize. And it doesn't work in this culture. It's too much of that. <laughs> you don't want an insane swordsman with a good sword who's going to chop people down for no reason. All right? You should go up. Now I'm gone. Loose and easy in the hips. Go, go. Not good. Loose and easy. So the knees flop. Rest. That's more the up direction, the lift direction. Okay. The lift is, is deceptive because you can't do that. It's like a, a, a forklift. You have the forklift. Now you're gonna put it down over there. You try to lift something, that's why forklifts exist. Okay, but here, let's, let's do the loose and easy and do that direction. Okay. You're doing this, now this and easy. Okay, let's change partners uh, a little bit, the CD Koki, well, a different direction than we normally do. Okay, but the trapdoor. It create waves, I think, and therefore, you know, I mean, that's the thing about it, you know. Loose and easy means, you know, that, that lake is not frozen solid, it's just very still right now. And boom, you, you just have a weight in that lake, it creates ripples, is not it? And then, you know, just, okay, now it's a great idea of visualization, but just like to feel that through the body, then, then, you know, what happens, you know. I know about it, but I'm so confused on that. If you put it through the body, uh, your mind tends to fall, you know, or since they might say something, I like use the body to train the spirit. Spirit is even, you know, like, boom, 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 bigger. But, you know, you, you start to relax the body, so your mind starts to open, and you see things differently. That, that's being loose and easy, because what's in my mind is judgment. Uh, we just gave a game away, and the other one, I threw the world. Yeah. How many times is Curry going to miss that many shots in the last three minutes? But it happened. All right. So, you know, if I'm not nailed in the 49ers, I'd be worried. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, I'm, go ahead. It's, uh, not quite a pull. I like your thing. Not quite a pull. Okay, that, okay, you're attacking me. Come on. The trick stand. I'm going to push you down. The quick stand. The quick stand. Oh. I don't know what that is. Hmm. You know, if I'm a, a, a placid, calm lake and you're a heavy rock, you're going to create a big wave. The trick is it will stand there, not just with the idea, but you know, the body creates the mind to be calmer. And then, you know, it's, you know, like spirit is something even bigger than that. You see what I mean? It's very big. So since they said train the spirit through the body, 
between your body and spirit is your mind. And here, you know, if you have mind can visualize a kind of a placid lake, okay. But it's all up here. Now that the body itself is loose and easy. Ah. And then, you know, a great boulder falls in it. Boom, the leg moves it out. There are ways the boulder creates with its weight, right? And that's a lot of Aikido you know, if you're coming in this direction. You're that rock. Oh, and that Whoa. Okay. We just want to be, I, I, mean, I don't want to be having boulders crashing into the placid lake. I want to be the lake. On the other hand, it's kind of, okay, I want to feel the weight of the world and I want to move. You get to be the boulder too. You know what I mean? You know, that's, that's what we're doing here. Okay, but, but you get that stuff. Okay, so. See now, where's the hinge? Hips. Well, they can't go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, Paul, grab him. I just want to. Oh, yeah. Your hips. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and, and relax even more in the ribs. Yes, good. Okay, yeah. So you start to get that. It's, you know, it's a very important thing. I mean, you know, it's quite well. There's a lot more going on than just, you know, these crazy images. But on the other hand, you know, there's a. They're going to liberate you then. Yeah, that's, that's it. But once you get that, then all of a sudden so you, you get a lot of things. You get, that was your right. Okay, now I'm going to try to do this. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and boom. Okay, now right about here. Boom. Yeah, pretty good trap door. Down there. And that's really a very different thing than when you get here. I'm going to push you down. There's a trap door, isn't it? And then we got that motion. Voice techniques, you know, if you kind of go to the trap door. That's kind of a funnier type of construct. More like, you know, with that. Okay. I just uh, everybody up. I just check. Check your body's attention. You can start here, but I kind of, on a good day, I start more with my feet. If I'm here, oftentimes yeah, I sense I can't let go of it. Because there's a reason why I'm gone. And I can't let go of it. But I'm going to start with my feet. Okay. Ah, breathing is a, a very good indication. If you can feel your breathing, then you're, you're kind of in this loose and the beginnings of loose and easy. See, one of the things about Aikido, it can get very mental. So what we're really doing on some level, so we're using the body, you know, to train the mind. If the body can sort of get this feeling of loose and easy. The mind starts to quiet down. Otherwise, we have what Bruce Lee called a noisy mind, and the docents that we call that an I. Okay. Right. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. I don't particularly like in the world, but they it, can't do anything with it. You know, my partner's uh, battling cancer. I can't give her any sort of uh, meaningful company and support when the world's bumming me out. Right. So when you start to do that, the mind starts to calm down. But well, Sensei didn't stop with the mind. You know, he reached something you call spirit or ki or kami or whatever it was. But he said, he said, you know, use the body to train the spirit. So obviously, if you do that, you hit the mind on the way there. His his goal. <laughs> Was, was a bit lost here. Therefore, he covered more territory than most people. I just want to stop my headaches. Okay, I kid, I'll help you do that. Yeah, that's a big thing. And then you might say, wow, this is kind of cool. And then you might investigate a little bit more, you know, about, you know, the mind. And then maybe you'll kind of start to touch uh, spirit. The first two teachers, one was Robert Frazier, who was a psychologist. So, you know, he, would, would, you know, teach and he'd also bring psychological elements. And there was a man named Robert Nado, who was kind of this uh, street mystic. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm good. sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, he was a street mister. He was a cop. He was a he was a job. Yeah, but he did yoga. He did he did things like that. Bodybuilding, yoga, martial arts. And so, you know, they both meet in Tokyo. And so they you know, come back, they're both personal students of Osan. So, so you know, Frazier since they had his so intellectual, you know, which I, I, I like as well. If it doesn't interest me psychologically, it doesn't interest me. Okay. In the those sense, they kind of had this um, cachet, so to speak, and they had a kind of swagger. <laughs> this is kind of cool as well. You know, they were a good team. I wish they stayed together, but uh, it was it was kind of really good when it was there, and unfortunately, it, it kind of didn't last. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, okay. But you know, the, the, the mind, the psychology of it is spirit. And those sensei, you know, that use the body to train the spirit. Now we're at the level more where we're using the body to train the mind. My mind is calmer, clearer. And basically, a lot of times, you know, um, when we talk about trap doors and, you know, loosen your wrists or hinges in your wrists, this way. Your mind is trying to operate on a different level than the way it normally does. And therefore, the energy flows. Spirit is a whole different thing. Okay? I mean, it's not. I mean, if you go, some people don't stop at mind. Please don't say, I think stop at mind. He's really good. Okay? So right about here, you know, I get it. I got a, I got a, this is a trap door. All right. Yeah, I got to put him there. No. Jesus. Now he's going to turn in here. A huge circle going around the center. But if you turn that circle into an up and spiral, but we stay in the center of it. Okay. Yes. Okay, now your mind is thinking in a different way than it normally does. And it's trying to engage something called imagination, which comes more out of the body than the noise in the mind. You know, to solve problems, you, you use your imagination in a constructive way. Most times the imagination is reacting to all the subconscious fears we have. And you know, I'm imagining everything go wrong. Everything that's bad, easy to do these days. You start to breathe, get that loose, easy feeling through the body. It transposes into your mind. You start to trigger the imagination, which is not mental. Okay? Got it? Good. Yeah. What's the trapdoor starting? Now, when that trapdoor is starting, I can step here. Now, if he tries to uh, he says he's really sharp. He comes in with the elbow there. <laughs> I'm awake enough. I can make a photo adjustment with my hips. You know. <laughs> All right. But well, I'm setting it up right here. So. Come on. <laughs> now I tighten it sticking down. No, the trap door effect. I'm going to keep him in front of my center. Come on in. He doesn't know why. He's going to stand up, but he's going to stand up. And I show you where he goes. The circle that he's in becomes a spiral around my center. Okay? That's the movement. If you're thinking that way, guess what? You're way out of the noisy mind area. And if you check, what, what happens? It just got you a little bit more into the body in a loose, easy way. So your mind starts to open up in something called imagination, which is really powerful, starts to come in. Okay, let's uh, change partners. I, Doherty, right to right, left to left. Right. Okay, so the, um, let's call it the double trap door. Sometimes, you know, I, I know it, but I don't go deep enough in it. Okay, so for example, here, he grab out, grab with the other hand. And oh, I, oh, I understand that there's a trap door. What is that trap door? I'm starting to use my mind in a way that it was intended to, which is I got a problem. Who's grabbing? 
Oh, I discovered this nice little hinge, and all of a sudden this trap door opens up. You know, that's a gateway to what you might call your key. Your energy is flowing because you're not tying yourself with a knife, not. Okay, and so, you know, the imagination comes into play. I like it. I like imagination. You know, with me, Aikido was the start of a great adventure. And any adventure for me is imagination. Love the Michael Murkoff books. Why? Sword and sorcery, all that stuff. Imagination, adventure. If it doesn't have that, son, we want you to be a doctor or a lawyer. Okay, we'll settle for you to be a professor. Those my parents. <laughs> strike one, strike two, strike three. I don't want to be any of those. So I became an IQ teacher. <laughs> Why? Because when, when you know, uh, Robert Fager Sensei, Robert Nadeau Sensei, they were there. They presented those Sensei, and that was kind of like, wow, kills my imagination. How could he do that? He was an old guy, right? It seemed like magic, so imagination. So right about here, for example, other hand, that, see, that's the first trap door. But you get here, and all of a sudden, we get into, and I, I'm, I'm kind of like our 45th person, and I got to make you do something because I want my power to show. Not right. Another trap door. And what does that mean? My, my system can't stop just because I'm halfway there. So what? happens is we get halfway there and then all of a sudden what happens well most of the time what's going on in our minds is influenced by our negative subconscious unconscious okay so what happens to your imagination we're subconsciously imagining all that weird junk in there you can pay a therapist for years and never clear that up I'm going to have my therapy session. Then all of a sudden, I got to have, you know, drugs that'll keep me. You <laughs> see what I mean? It's endless. All right. So what we're doing here is you start to relax the body, loose and easy. The mind starts to kind of let go of it. And the tremendous power of your imagination starts to come through a more balanced place in you or me. And therefore, all of a sudden, we're a better person. That last trapdoor is not to beat him. It's more like, you know, it's almost like self discovery. Boom, that's the first trapdoor. Now I get in the shoulders, I just take him down. No. And right here, for example, I want to be the sensor to his circle. It's a relational thing. Now, right about here, as he starts to move, that, that circle turns into a spiral, doesn't it? The spiral runs both up and down, but I stay in the center with it. Yeah, you're going to go through ups and downs. A couple of nights ago, the Warriors lost a horrible game. You know, I was thinking, God, you know, the smartest guy on the team doesn't get the ball over, you know, in the eight seconds a lot of it. I said, this is bad. But that, that's totally subjective, you know, because of who I am, where I am, where, where I spend my time. Okay. The cosmic scheme of things, you win, you lose. You pick yourself up when you lose. And when you win, it's fun, but you don't necessarily get into this fixation that you have to win at everything. Healthy. And I win when I can go through the body to a healthier place of mind where this is a problem. He grabs. Well, I got to get there. That's the form. But in doing so, you know, I can't move. I'm tying myself up in knots. And then, you know, I think I got it. And then he's, you know, he's done a little bit. So he puts his elbow in my gut. Okay. I'm thinking linearly. And I have no sense of situational intelligence. Where does situational intelligence come in? You can't get, the form can get linear very easily. So right about here, there's that trap door. Well, I see. Up right here, see how they. And now he comes in with the elbow. I can get down because of that first. Now I got to get him down. All right, no, there's another trap door. All right, and then he stands up. It's a spiral, runs up and down. 
I just want to stay in the center and let the spirals work from there. And I'm in a very different position with myself. This is where I like to hang out. Uh, you know, my mind is my laboratory. My tool is my imagination. And I get a chance to play around like my, my uh, granddaughter does. And I told my daughter, I said, you know, I love being with Nora. Of all the people I know, her mind works the same way as mine. <laughs> and boy, she is really ahead of me most of the time, let me tell you that. She is very good. All right. So right about here, where the woman will come here. All well, right, stands up. Well, there's another trap door. Okay, and then we get that one. And you know, you're, you're loose and easy. You set up yourself as a center to his circle. Now, off of that second trap door, the circle turns into a spiral. That spiral runs both up and it runs down to the center. If all of a sudden you're out there in the spiral, you start to spin into your head. You get too noisy, your shoulders go up, your system walks up, and you go into all your tapes, and you could be paying conscious therapists I'll be making a whole lot more money with you. You see what I mean? And the drug companies are making money off you. Boy, you need some sort of a, a drug to calm your system down. But yeah, I'd rather not. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's change partners, go one more time on that one. So, so we're here. Okay. Now we can go this way, which is just kind of shorter here. Boom, 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 boom. Now the trap door here is a very interesting one. Because the second trap door is not where you drop. The second trap door is where you start to spiral. Okay, so we can go this way. Okay, so we can go this way. Okay, so we can go this way. Right here, he comes in at me. There's an opening there, but right about here, he's already caught in the forecast. Okay. And, you know, that, that's a demanding call. So listen to your body and, and decide what level you're going to participate in that. Okay, but let's change partners. I do already put the guys. We gotta get going. So, um, yeah, um, a lot of uh, technique, to be honest with you, is problem solving. Okay. Now, you know, you you can say, I'm gonna, okay, I don't understand. I just wanna train some more, and that's 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 one of the ways you problem solve. You train. All right, but then you can get into a rut training. Okay. Okay. Now the code of Geishas, for example, we just go this way. Okay. Basically, if he extends through, I can't do anything. Why? Because this what's called the energy arm or fist. All right. So, boom. <laughs> so what what is it? Okay. Now I'm staying on a straight line trying to deal with him. The answer might be 90 degrees to that. Now, if I take that in terms of knowledge, I'll go out here and, and then he just punches me with the other hand. Right? But there's something else going on like this. Okay. All right. See, most of the time, it looks like we're going this way, winning in the collision. But it's never that way. Oftentimes, the solution is in this, it's, it's at different angles. Okay. I mean, it's, no. Maybe I'm Stephen Curry and I can't get the shot off. And I hope he comes back. This Clay Thompson open. He wins the game. I made the pass at one of the game. You have to be very flexible. You can't be sloppy. If I give Clay a stupid pass, or throw a stupid pass and gets intercepted, we lose anyway. So there's execution. That's what training is about. But you know, the the actual sense of it. Is it's very easy to get programmed, and program some programming is useful. Okay, in other words, you know, I used to hang out with Robert Koga and say, "This is Jack. If you're facing a gun, you have to do some. You you don't want to try to figure it out. <laughs> you want a procedure. 
right, that's been researched. And, you know, if you're dealing with cancer, you don't try to cure it with magic Shinto. You might do that too, but, you know, you rely somewhat on science. There was a show I was watching where somebody, for example, had a gun, you know, and the guy was killed and therefore, you know, his family moved into a haunted place. Was, right? But, you know, he goes like this. And I was telling El, if you're going to do that, go here. Right? Now, right about here, for example, you know, you, you know, I mean, he may be very, very, you know, okay now, but he may not let me do that. So I go this way first, and then I go that way. Okay? See, the techniques are about problem solving. And there's the physical repetitious act of doing a movement. That's supposed to get you to where your body is free and easy. So your mind starts to correct itself. Let's go to be where you are in more of that state. Mind is free and easy. It starts to touch the imagination. You start to touch the imagination. That's the gateway to spirit. Really what you want to do is, uh, see, the mind is very complex. That's why therapists make a lot of money. And most of the stuff is in the body of the client. And they keep going back because, you know, the, the mother stuff is in the body, memories, emotions here. So oftentimes a therapist can work on somebody for years. You know? And they, they may never get closure, but they feel better when they leave. So they keep coming back. <laughs> okay? You see what I mean? And this is not anything about, because I've had people, so I'm doing Aikido. I'm not going to get professional help. You need professional help. <laughs> right. And some of them don't do it. And they usually wind up doing something crazy. Right. But you can see it coming because there, there's too much going on. They're trying to correct it in the system that, that is too antiquated. Just doing repetitive movement doesn't resolve anything. So let's say he's coming to punch, right? Then you know, right about here, I go this way, and he's very strong. But I go that way. That was two or three adjustments I made. You might not be able to read that way and make those adjustments. And the adjustments don't come from my conscious mind. My conscious mind has, has messed up so many years that I realized Oh my God, this is wide open and this is an unproductive movement and da 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 da. So, you know, uh, I, I try to go to my Einstein palace, try to get my body in order, loose and easy, create a blackboard, and examine what I'm doing. And after a while, you know, you get, okay, one, two, three, four, there are, there are variations of, and you let the system. And in, in some sense, you know, what, what, what happens is if he's coming this direction, you know, the, the, the whole thing, the whole thing is spirit. Spirit moves first. And your mind starts to kind of, is in order enough that, you, that, that your body moves freely. It really goes backwards, spirit, mind, body. Now we get caught up in the mind and it appears to be a body problem, but your mind creates the body. What does spirit create? The harmony between mind and body. And if you know, we can do that a little bit more, you, hopefully we'll find that, that this helps us in other areas other than just doing technique. But you'd be surprised, you know, right about here, you know, it's like, boom, sure. Now I missed the risk, but I got this. What am I going to do? Well, I could switch technique. Come on in. Okay. That's a shorter point. The uh, trap door. I don't feel like doing that, so it's quicker. If you're doing a multiple situation, for example, you want to do the, the, the full takedown because, you know, you, you're going to create you know, a log jam in your own movement. <laughs> okay. You don't have too much uh, multiple, it's just constantly moving, 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 adjusting, moving, adjusting. And ideally you're moving at such a speed because 
your mind is clear enough, your spirit is directing your mind to be free. And your body is then thus enriched and infused with spirit. Okay, so sometimes people say, the Kido is about the Akido spirit. Well, most of these people, I don't think, know what they're talking about at all. The spirit is power, but spirit is also love. Spirit is intelligence. Okay. What else is spirit? Well, it's harmonious. The original of whatever it is that created the universe didn't put us here so we could fight and kill each other. You know, we're responsible for that. And that's because, you know, what happens is, you know, we identify through the mind with a stance and we can't be flexible. And so we're killing each other, we're killing the planet, we're doing a bunch of crazy stuff. You know, so what are you going to do? Well, ideally, everybody here came to Aikido today. You're taking some positive action. Other than that, you get some exercise here, you get to learn a little bit of movement. But that's the purpose why I was essentially created this. But Mistogi generally means, I mean, he was a body person. He went into waterfalls and all this stuff. You know, he trained the body really hard. But he said, train the body to reach the spirit. You train the spirit through the body, the mind is what connects body and spirit. And the mind can be an obstacle and opponent when it gets too negative or too busy. So what we're doing today, you know, for example, here, if he's gonna come and say, boom, boom, you're clear. So right about here, then he's already on this. So okay. Oh. And right about in the middle, you know, when I'm cutting it close, he just right over the top or underneath like this. So I have to be able to oh. get that economically there. Being punched in basketball is a turnover. But you want to eliminate, it's just, you know, here, you know, in a real situation, obviously, uh, getting hit or something is not, I mean, it's, we're play acting. But what you can do is you, you, you can put the equations into algorithms. Algorithms exist to solve problems. Equations you need math for, okay? But since they discovered probably a, a place from the body to spirit, it, spirit is where you get the algorithms. And a lot of times the algorithms reveal themselves through your imagination, feel, experience place. That's the purpose of training. Because in a lot of ways, we have to be able to visualize a, 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 a beautiful, loving world because it doesn't exist yet. It starts with our imagination, which starts with our getting a little bit more healthy through the body, clearing a lot of the mind. The mind is so complex, you could spend decades in therapy and keep coming back for more. <laughs> I feel better when I see my therapist. Yeah, but I feel better when I go to a... Uh, you know, like a body worker for a while. It doesn't last um, until I start to realize a lot of the tension in my body is related to a lot of stuff I'm carrying, you know, all of a sudden. Then, yeah, if you want to get a body work session, you do. If you want to touch base with somebody who's a psychologist, it's like really fun conversations with Robert Frazier. When we, when we, we have, you know, because yeah, he's somebody I can, yeah. And you know, the difference is a little bit this way. If I want to know something about something, I talk to Robert Frazier because he knows it. If I'm in terrain I don't know anything about and maybe is not in the law, you know, then, then I usually have a conversation with an adult. <laughs> what, what is this dark demon that's descending from the sky when I chanted? It's not a dark demon, it's, it's pure original energy. The reason it's dark is because of you. Oh, well, holy crap. It's really an ally. Really? Yeah, I found out that was correct. All right. And so, you know, I mean, not that Robert Frazier simply couldn't help me with that. But, you know, that was the biggest gift I ever got from him. Don't listen to the thing about sin or whatever it is. All energies at their source are pure. He's talking about that space where spirit is spirit, spirit is that lotus 
flower that's blooming in 3,000 worlds. I think they called it many things, but you know, it's, a, it's kind of in this particular what? area. And, <laughs> and then, you know, he was standing, you know, so purely in that, okay, that all the stuff that he did, boom, was coming out of an original perfection. And he started with the body, didn't he? And the mind starts, you know, I said, okay, the body starts to get itself in a looser, easier, freer place. The mind starts to let go a bit. Through the mind, you, you know, you start to get the imagination. You start to touch some spirit right there. That's pretty serious. And it's also serious in a good way. Okay. Yeah. 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 There's another variation. There's a lot of them, you know. I mean, if you kind of go into stuff like that. Let me get up again. All I'm doing is standing in that center, and we get to that area where the spirals go up and down around that center. And that's where the techniques come to. If it's knowledge, there's too much movement there. So you start with the body, and you kind of clear the knowledge area. You can know something that can really follow you up. Ah. So you're clear. The imagination starts to show itself. And that's why I'm saying a lot of the techniques were here. We're, we're, we're here for training, for exercise, for learning the movements. But we're also here for using the body to clear the mind enough to get to the imagination area, which is the gateway to spirit. And after all, spirit is what leads. You know, since they would substitute the word love or kami or many things for the word spirit. Okay. But anyway, thank you. Right? So, you know, I don't know exactly what else to make of it, but that, you know, just any time. You're feeling, you know, start, start, start to feel the body a bit. I, think, I used to start with my feet because if I start too high, I'm usually in some sort of emotion. <laughs> I can't get out of it. It starts to wind tighter and tighter. And, you know, I try to, to loosen up there. It doesn't happen. But if I catch my feet, I catch my breathing, I catch my breathing. Uh, I realize the mind is way, way too active and start to kind of create like a calm lake and just kind of settle there for a bit. And guess what? You kind of in that imagination zone and the mind prefers this to being angry or bitter or argumentative or you see what I mean? It's an area where, you know, there's kind of a couple of the tricks of the trade, so to speak. Sometimes you got to go past, okay, we're going to do for the guy's shit. Okay, anyway, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, thank you very much. To do this and get that thing off the screen. So yesterday we were kind of working with, you know, a couple of things. And with A connects to B, uh, what's the difference between an equation and an algorithm? Well, an equation simply states the relationship A to B equal sign. Okay. And uh, Albert Einstein's field equation, the side geometry, space time, whatever you want to call it here, here, you have matter and energy, physics equal. But how did he? come to that. Well, he had to devise an algorithm to get to A equals B. Okay? So an equation, an algorithm were, were somewhat different. You know A and B are equal. Now, how do you prove that? 
And, you know, he obviously used numbers and things I don't quite understand. Okay. So one of the things we were doing yesterday was we were having somebody grab onto the wrist. Okay. And, you know, basic blend, but basic blending. We go here, but you now just examine the, you know, somebody's holding with a certain amount of weight. This is different than somebody holding and resisting. Okay. We were kind of going, basically you have a hinge here. Now I can make this a rigid form or I can, and I wind up when I make a rigid form, I, I freeze here to put some weight here. And when I swing the arm, I'm pushing and pulling. And if there's weight there, oh, of course I can move a certain amount of weight. But... So we're saying that past the grip, there's a hinge. And that hinge is free and easy. And of course we can that side because I'm really good here and then I'm making all the standard mistakes here which is to, to, to set put to, to freeze as becomes a rigid form or I swing the arm. Okay. Now one of the things we were kind of doing right there so this is uh, the, the, the hinge here is in a free and easy state. Free and easy. I'm already locked into my mind the rigid form, so I'm going to go that way. Or conversely, uh, I'm, 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 I'm loose, but I'm loose in a way that's not free and easy. Words seem very long. I'm loose. I'm loose. I'm a loose wheel. <laughs> okay. Which means, all right, I may come off the axle in a very bad time. You don't want to be loose. They're free and easy. Boom. And then what happened right there, and it looks like I'm going to bring my weight, is all of a sudden beginning, so we call the trapdoor. Uke's right here. All of a sudden, Uke goes, ooh, what was that? Now, you know, we can pull Uke, push Uke, but boom. boom. Sometimes, you know, in the old days, uh, People see this is the trigger for us, but I'm not terribly into triggers or guns. So it's a hinge. <clears throat> um, now, the algorithm, what connects this? And we use the term all of a sudden, your case holding over here, there's a, a trapdoor effect. I'm going to try to make the trapdoor happen. No, my being loose and easy triggers the trapdoor effect. And if I try to accomplish it, set, uh, I'm using force, and you know, that, that may be a building block. Okay, or conversely, speed, you know, I can swing the arm. Boop, boop. Now, if you notice here, you know, you know, something sharp or a projectile and off the line. So, so I'm not just, there's, a, there's some activity here, the body itself, but you're feeling kind of, let's say, in the hinge, the joint of the wrist, you, know, you might want to feel in your body. My carry intention to the ankles, and my knees locked, and my hips kind of frozen. So if I can get the feeling of that joint being loose and easy. I just want to do a quick scan. All that is derailed if my jaw and my neck are tight. So it's free and easy. <sighs> free and easy. So hopefully you're on camera, we've got a couple of people. You're, you're, you're moving and feeling free and easy. Okay, uh, Cliff, you were at that class yesterday. Can you give a comment or two on what free and easy is for you? Um, free and easy, I notice the result is flow. 
right? Like yeah. um, if I'm if I'm not in that state, um, yeah. and and I have a good uke, and pretty much everyone in in the class is a is a great uke. Yeah. Uh, they won't let me get away with it, <laughs> right? Well, so well I, get, I get really yeah, good feedback. Just good. just good. So, you know, we're talking about I, I need to find my flow. Well, uh, where is my flow? Well, my flow happens around this free and easy place. I'm using the body somewhat as a frame of reference. Let me see. Free of mind. Um, what do I need to think? Well, thinking. I think you may leave me to realize there's a, there's a body feel associated with it. And that also alters my thinking because instead of a lot of verbiage going on here, my mind quiets down to, so the body can get to that free and easy state. So flow happens there. That's an algorithm, isn't it? How do I get into flow? Well, there's this free and easy place in the body. Hips are free and easy. Elbows are free and easy. Shoulders are free and easy. All right. But uh, you don't have to say anything, David, but you were there. Um, care to comment on what free and easy is for you? Um, I, it, oh. For me, it's, it's, I know it's happening because I can feel and see the result. But I don't okay, always know. Okay. Yeah, okay. I well, don't always good. know what what leads up to it being there. Good, good. In other words, it's kind of empirical. Okay, that must have been free and easy because that happened, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you know, there, there's really no right or wrong there. We just have an approach. Okay, and the the truth of it is this. The algorithms are somewhat personal. Now, if somebody you know, has had a great reservoir of personal experience, then the algorithms they present may resonate with you. But you've almost sort of got to kind of find your own way, which means your algorithms might be very different than my algorithms. I like the word algorithm because it is very... I like it, it's fancy, but again, it's, it's kind of like, ah, oh, this is cool. What Sensei had his algorithms. So, you know, my reason for doing Aikido on some level, although I'm not sure I, you know, would use that word in 1969, was what were his algorithms to get to where he got to and to be who he was? Oh, Sensei, okay. So we got a couple of things there, but yeah, okay. I'm in that free and easy state, flow happens. Okay, David's, well, I, I, if, I, if it happens, then I know I'm kind of there. So, you know, they're both really, you know, they're, they're individual, okay? And about all I can do, for example, is to um, state what's going on with me, and it may resonate with you. And if you present what's going on with you, then maybe we can come up with quote unquote a team algorithm. Okay? All right? So, you know, we're a three person team today. Hopefully, you know, some people will treat like this and make it a multi, you know, faceted audience, but a lot of people turn it online. So, okay, so there it is. Now, if we examine this, then we go. What's happening? Well, I'm free and easy. See, I may not even know my body's moving. Okay, so in sports, they call it a slump. All of a sudden, this is great, but I, I, I'm just, but other days, just like this, and I'm not getting that you know, free and easy. Includes the hips, free and easy includes the knees not locked, free and easy includes the ankles, and, and free and easy includes, you know, there's a nice natural contact with the ground. Free and easy extends. I try, I start from the, Let's start from the bottom. I'm waiting for it to happen. I wait long enough, I'm going to start to freeze and try to make it happen. I drift off. <laughs> Free and easy means you're right there with it. My wrist has hardly moved at all. 
Now from there, we, we could change the motion or complete that. Going from A to B, you may need a map. Google it, press it, get directions. That's an algorithm. Pretty and easy in the years. I may not after a while even know I'm doing that. But right about here, I'll try to sort of put it with who key on this end, and I'm playing both roles right here. That free and easy, which just starts consciously in the wrist, but really it's the full body, all of a sudden, the beginnings of, or the, a, a first trap door. Whoop, opens up. But it's almost like right here, the first trap door opens, and I say, oh, I got it. You know, I don't, I don't put a full weight and fall through. So we piece the whole thing. So, and okay on the other thing. It's one home. <sighs> okay. Now we've got here, you know, that's the opening move of that basic blank. It can also be the opening move of another motion. There's a bunch of other movements. So we're examining a situation in class. Thank goodness we were back to in-person contact training. Good. Now, what we're saying right here, the contact you have right now is, of course, informational across this void, but we have the miracle of Zoom. <laughs> so right about here, for example. Okay. Not much exercise, but right here. If I get that feeling in the wrists, and get that feeling in the hips, I get that feeling in the feet, I get that feeling in the knees, I get that, you know, basically, you know, I, I, the upper body then has to, you know, I start low. By the time I correct this, okay, I'm an uptight beginner white belt. <laughs> okay, I probably started that way, all right. But, so I get this, but then again, some days it locks up and some days it, what was that? So Cliff would say, oh yeah, I'm in the flow, but on some days where'd the flow go? And David is kind of like, wow, but uh, what, what's going on? Well, the one constant I have is, is my own positioning with myself in that zone through the body that you might call free and easy. Okay, and I notice mentally, I'm right there, but there's a wider focus, which allows me to be adaptable. Right. Um, any, anybody out there, we got two bodies today, all right? Anybody out there with a comment or because we are going to go somewhere with this. It's hard to do without a partner. That's why the in-person contact training is really good. Anybody? <sighs> Tohi Sensei, for example, he created these exercises. Right on top, left on top. But, you know, you're not doing this. Your whole body is in that free and easy state. And he also had things like relax completely. Okay. If you hear the weight is underside, therefore, boom, we get kind of that, you know, that, that first trap door. Okay. Boom. And that's all this thing where UK says, whoa, but catches themselves. They don't, don't put that weight so fully there that they fall down. And there it is, the motion we cross over. And we in more conversely. We have that motion. 
So free and easy. Free and easy. So my mind is quiet. It's focused on what's going on, but it's not too busy with. Okay, right. So that was kind of yesterday's class. It's harder to do without. The feedback is somebody holding on. Okay, on the other hand, you know, if you have enough experience, then you talk, pause for a second, you breathe, you're kind of in that free and easy state. Sensei, I have a question. Yes. Um, so yes. It's, on the physical level, it's obvious what you mean by the hinge because it's the wrist moving in an analogous way. But I, I'm still a little vague on what the trapdoor metaphor means. Yeah, the trapdoor metaphor. Now, obviously, you know, we see it because the uke is involved in something. Well, let's just say there's some flow going on here. And initially, you know, we're going, okay, I'm getting my own flow going. Oh, there's a trap door. Now, most of the time that flow is going on and I go like this. What if I go like that? And who cares? Or all of a sudden, boom. Both standing in that same flow. So since they said something interesting, I read it on Facebook, where you know he's in an Aikido class, and you know, he's talking to this guy named Yamada, not that Yamada sensei from New York, but you know, he says Yamada son. He's still looking at the people training. He says, Aikido is big, Aikido is big. And everybody's going, this is like Kido's big. So, of course, we're doing this. And you okay, you know, so the trapdoor is a way of kind of explaining all of a sudden, you know, I'm going to step here, but I catch my balance, don't I? I don't fall through. Oh, oh. But, you know, that's dependent on. The fact that there's a trap door there and this fall opens up and I haven't put my weight there to fall through yet. But boom, I'm affected, but I have enough balance. I go back, I've been doing Tai Chi for 50 years. And so I go, oh, right? Okay. That makes sense. So if you look at this, this is like an energy pattern that's going on. Now, what I'm doing right here is positioning myself a little bit more as the center. And therefore, boom, and there's UK going boom, because this is going that way, isn't it? Now, question is, does that resonate with you at all? Yes or no? Um, yeah, I think so. It, 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 yeah. So my understanding at the moment is yeah, okay. door is the space that Nage opens for Uke yeah. to allow the Uke's energy to blend with Nage's. Yeah, well, what I would say is this. Nage being free and easy enough opens the space for Uke to be a part of this. And Nage goes this way, Nage is positioned as the center. Okay, it goes, what was the circle moving? Does that make any sense? Yes, Sensei. Okay, yeah. So you're, you're correct. Now, if I'm uptight, you know, I have to be in the proper position, free and easy, to open the space for Uke to begin to feel. And right? those Sensei's terms is I feel. I feel always big, big, you know? Why? Because you, know, you can say this is a little subset of the universe movement. Here we go. Huh? 
And all of a sudden, your kid goes, oh, okay, I didn't fall through that trap door, but something opened up. The space opened up for me to be a part of that. Okay? That would be my, my particular type of thing with it. Uh, David, any comments? You don't have to say anything. So, you know. Well, for me, when you, when you said the trap door, yeah. again, that was, that was for me, a trap door isn't something I, I, if the trap door drops, you fall. And that's, if or I'm the trap door, I'm not, I'm not pulling you down. I'm just opening it up. Okay. Yeah. And again, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't make the trap. When I, the feeling you get when you step in the trap door goes, you don't make that feeling. You, you feel it when, oh, I, oh, I just, I was standing on a trap door. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do any of that. It just happened. Well, you know, I was in class yesterday. I go like this, and, you know, I think you went, or somebody went that way. I went, oh, so the trap door beginning to open. Where'd that come from? It come from, you know, basically, body in a free and easy state, the mind. It's a partner to the body. Now, if you try to clear all this clutter up, I'm going to do this form. Clean body, get a little better so I can do the form a little better, but really, it's the other way. For me, one, if I'm going to be free and easy and look at the body, I'm not going to start here. I'm going to start down there and work my way up because, you know, free and easy ankles, knees, hips, freer, easier chest, shoulders, freer and easier, jaw, neck. Oh, free and easy. Yeah. It's a little quicker. So it's like the express elevator. Okay. All right, so after a while, here, oh, move it that much. Right? To be honest with you, I can't explain it rationally, but all of a sudden, oh, yeah, that's a construct. All right? Energy moves, my limited mind says, oh, it's like a trapdoor. But, oh, there's something kind of cool happening, so I label the trapdoor, and I label this hinge. Uh, it was oftentimes called a trigger. But I don't like the trigger analogy because I don't particularly want to promote guns. But you know, anytime you, you know, you want to start your computer up, done. The algorithm is you press power and the computer is supposed to light up, okay? Am I lighting up? No, the computer is lighting up. But once the computer lights up, then I have access to various programs and apps and whatever it is. Okay. So boom. Pro Sensei, his computer was the universe. In the universe of harmonious energy. Uh -huh. Okay, now I know about that. Ah, I'm kind of stuck in this limited space. Why? Because you know I'm, it's a limited version of me out here. Or out here. And if I go, ah, I'm still stuck. Everything in terms of the body is one. So the body itself follows very like this is a ripple effect. Ripple effect. I'm going to dive off a platform. Hope I please the European and Russian judges of the Olympics or something. I'm stepping back and shooting a basketball. Or I'm about to take a roll. Or I'm about to take a roll this way. And it's physically learning that, but also after a while. Free and easy, we realize that most any movement can be imbued with a corresponding energy flow. Okay? So, anyway, that's about it. So, Cliff's got a couple more minutes. Um, so, uh, free and easy there doesn't mean, okay, I, I got that, but how come the rest of you still can't? So, that's <sighs> breathe yourself. 
opens. It's not just relax. Relax is kind of the vital thing. Now, you can turn it more way across this way. We're in this motion now. Also, this is all true. It is. Or conversely, it becomes very fat. I check here because my neck tends to back my neck tends to stuff. So we're learning to process our own body system to be free and easy, even all of a sudden. Okay. Now, the other thing we mentioned. One of the things about the book end cut. That's the first trap door within the larger trap door. So that cut in that closing motion, one, two, it's not one, but it's one, two. One, two. But the whole body on this is a trigger or a hinge. So it's not going to move without me. Boom. Boom. Locking up too loose, and there's a couple of light years between both of those and that. Boom, 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 boom. Nikyo. Okay, I guess Cliff had to leave, so first, boom. Also in the oh, that motion. That's why, you know, one of the things about this is that this is the value of it. It's very simple. Okay, whoops. We either add or subtract. I can just check. Maybe we Cliff, just Cliff switched over to a different device. He switched to his phone. That's why I dropped out and came back. Oh, oh I see. Okay. All right. Okay. So, you know, your, your basic supuri cut. Tips like, you know, proper grip, the whole through palm, grip diagonally. On this one, you're not raising. So you can go up here, so it comes a little different. All right, not much. But right about here, boom. That closing motion, boom. What are you doing? Yeah, so, so it's almost like, you know, you have uh, the hinge, the free and easy place, the beginning place in terms of the body, which influences the mind to be calmer or inclusive. You can be very, very expansive and yet have your focus right on that group. And then that starts to trigger, let's just say the first level. It's a trap door. I put my foot on it, but I don't put my weight there, so I don't go that way. That's a forward rule. <laughs> okay. Boom. Now, the, the, the other tricky thing is I get that, so I take a step back, but there's a second trap door. Ah! <laughs> okay, so what's the trap door? Well, it's really. The movement now, you know, the other movement also exists. Movement also exists this way, that way. Okay, one of those movements exists. That's those are patterns of, of energy in the universe. So, you know, ultimately, you know, the universe is a kind of a, a laboratory or a gymnasium where you get a chance to kind of, first of all, you the all great scientists and horror movies, you experiment on yourself. Okay, but this is 
So I become freer and easier, I begin to realize there are energy movements. Now the broken. Okay. Now something that I discovered. And if you're like me, God shopping, you collect these and then you recycle them. But this is kind of done sometimes with a tire, but the tire tends to you get stronger in your arms and your shoulders, and you get strong from the top down. Okay, now for example, here, this is too loose. Okay, now. I get a little better. It's right there. For example, right there, boom, I am getting the, that's the first floor. Okay, now what we're gonna do a little bit is that motion. I didn't swing any harder, it's just all of a sudden. Trigger, hinge, first floor, second floor. So, and you don't get that bounce so. up. Okay. So, if you want to kind of check, um, and sometimes, for example, it's not done with anything, but the paper is yielding. And when you reinforce the whole thing that way, so you can check yourself a little bit. If you want to work on that swing, so to speak. All right. But now the rest of the body, some reason, for example, I'm lowering the hips. Right? But guess what? If I go this way, it's quicker. In basketball, you're going to go up here, then you're going to jump. Then you're going to jump. In basketball, you go like that. Boom. You eliminate that to go that way because you're already down here. If you're down here, you can also shift your next motion. Boom. And when you're down here, you're boom, you're really getting everything here. So the, the shot itself is very, you know, that's basic Stephen Curry. Okay. So. First trap door level, second trap door level. Oh, it's, it's all in that one moment. So this is something you can kind of do. And what you're kind of getting, I mean, uh, they call this muscle memory. So in other words, you know, by the time you think about this to get this started, but it says it's oftentimes, you know, it's unreal. So you know, okay, right here. First of all, you know, no, I want to be in that free and easy place. Point base, ankles, knees, hips, loose. I start from the bottom, not from the top. Oh, how come I can't relax my shoulders? I keep start from the bottom. Work your way back up. And that feeling right here is boom. It's a, it's a feel moment. So you can chat, you know, I don't know what's going on, but I look like I know what I'm doing. But occasionally, swing something out, and I go, what was that? Well, I find this, it's a free and easy place. Sometimes you'll hit it, but it's not uh, conscious. So you want to, conscious doesn't mean I'm always thinking about it.
<laughs> and beginning at the first trap door. Or in. Now the trap door extends. Or is the throne? Boom, it's that second trap door, isn't it? Or conversely, if you're here and you go like this, what is that throw? Boom, it's that second trap door. Boom. Boom. Okay. So, you know, that's a little bit how you know, your basic vocab, you know, does uh, influence your, your basic training. Because you're one, picking the sword up. I go bottom up, check my feet first, ankles, knees, hips. Uh, for me, what I work on a lot of times is jaw because I, I get caught up in. See, if you keep your mouth open this way, there's tension here. It's a lot of there's tension, but that. Just that'll throw it off. Just doing this, so I, I actually takes, uh, it, it's much more attention. I put much more attention into this than any of you do. Okay. And that's probably correct because, you know, for me, this is something as a journey I request that started almost 50 years ago. When, when, you know, I kind of, this all told you this and say, go. I go. Wow, what's he doing? All right. Free and easy through the body. Mind clears. An old trap door. Oh, so beginnings of a trap door. Oh, yeah, something a little different than, oh, yeah, I know it's a trap door. Sometimes you, know, you get uh, tied in, tied out. In Kizuchi sense, they like that one. They like the trap door so much. You kind of like, okay, there's the tide going that way. I'm going to go with it. And it's different. He didn't like that. And the tide changes. Won't change with the tide. That tide changes quicker. Well, he kind of likes that. That works in there. Okay. Touch of a sensei, like the trapdoor. Auto sensei, like getting real low, then the, the wave building, and then that wave cresting. So, right? The sensei was a little bit more far. It's like grabbing onto him, he was like steel that could mold itself into any shape. They each had their qualities, their style, which was not. I'm going to do Ano style. It's not that way. All right. But as you swing, it starts with the loose and easy here. Now, how does that motion start? See how the, now we're forming another shape. This is the shape. It's the same thing. And a lifting motion, click, different form. Click, different form. Usually with two points, but okay. But, do I raise them the shoulders or? Hmm. I keep doing this, I'm gonna hit myself in the face. Hmm. And I raise the only to here. Oh. You can take a couple sometimes just to get a you know, flow of it. First trap throw. Second trap throw. First trap throw. Second trap throw. From here, that becomes like a slide. You know. Okay, goes down. But it opens up. That's the whole thing about the trap door. It opens. Gravity asserts itself. 
You're not doing much. Um, I don't know, Cliff, are you still here? <laughs> you said you had to leave about now, so maybe you did. But anyway, that, that was kind of a presentation from yesterday. So, you know, when we go into, you see these patterns. Well, conversely, there's this. Because you do both right and left. You do front and back. So we don't just practice them. Back throw, we also do forward throw. There's a number of different uh, incarnations of this motion. Okay, all right? But it all starts in terms of, you know, who knows where it really starts, but it starts with a free and easy place. 